Hello everyone, my name is Lisette Lagunas and this is my week 8 presentation for MPA 540. Let's get started. This video that I decided to discuss was the first one, um, dealing with a high school teacher on a Europe summer trip, very innocently that decided that posting a picture on her of her holding a glass of wine and a beer mug to her personal Facebook page was okay since she had taken previous steps to ensure that her account was private. She also posted about her affiliation with an activity having a foul name. Now, the reason that I decided to discuss this was because I previously worked as a coordinator's assistant at a high school for about four or five years. And working for me were a group of about 20 college students that would um, periodically change. And those were employees that I constantly warned time after time about the things that they would post online and how it could affect them down the line, who they befriended online, whether it be a student, a staff member, a teacher, a coach, it didn't matter. Many of them had hopes of becoming teachers down the line and I reassured them that if they posted something online that would make them look bad at all, it could um, affect them down the line. Because legally, for the most part, employees cannot be fired for social media posts. I understand that um, because it is considered protected activity. But they do put their jobs in jeopardy if their social media posts embarrass or make the agency that they work for look foolish in any way, which I believe is what happened with this um, 25-year-old teacher, I believe. Her posts were not necessarily inappropriate, out of line, offending anyone. But if she would not show that picture in the classroom, then she has an image to uphold outside of the classroom as well. Although it is her personal life, she is representing a school district. And as a previous high school district employee, I understand that. And that is why I think that this video hit um, home with me. So it is important to understand that there are no federal laws that prohibit employers from monitoring employees on social networking sites. And now we are also held responsible for the image that we create for ourselves. Yes, it is understandable that the the complaint that the school or the school in general received was anonymous, but the school superintendent, the teacher, the principal next to her or above her felt that it made it made the school look bad and that is a valid reason for dismissal as employees we need to understand that a manager or a supervisor has the responsibility to look out for the agency to look out for the reputation their um, stability and if any employee at any point jeopardizes that they they are to stand behind the company's values, not our personal individual values. I think that now more than ever, it is important that as employees, we are protecting ourselves because obviously our age, our managers are protecting our the agency that we work for. And we are the ones creating an image for ourselves. Um, according to a 2018 um, survey, for career builder, 70% of employees um, use social media currently to screen candidates during the hiring process, and about 43% of employees use social media to check on current employees, which alone should be an indicator of how big social media is impacting our personal um, character and how others perceive us. Like I mentioned before, I did work for a high school for about five years, and because this was a re reoccurring issue, the district took it upon themselves to create a um, policy book specifically for social media, which is really interesting. And I went ahead and took um, a few of their policies, one of them was think twice before posting or commenting, which I thought was really important. Um, 
And it just highlights the importance of if you're not posting, if you can't show this in the classroom, do not post it. Because once it is online, you can't take it back. It doesn't matter how much you erase it. Somebody has seen it. Somebody can talk about it. Um, search engines can just turn up posts. And that is a dangerous part of, of the internet, not only social media. Also, uh, being responsible. Employees are responsible for monitoring and maintaining their official presence online. The, con- the con- uh, content posted by employees cannot violate intellectual property or it cannot violate the district's views on certain things. So having transparency within the company creates an openness between managers, employees, teachers, staff, um, district employees, teachers. It also creates trust leading to a successful organization. There needs to be communication, accountability, Teachers need to understand, as well as the employees, what the image that they want to uphold is. District employees need to understand what the image that they need to uphold is. And it is also really important that if you have made a mistake in the past or maybe posted something, that you're open with your agency and you find a a way that they can protect you and not harm you down the line based on a post or a public opinion that you might have made So overall, I think that social media posts and social media in general is a very touchy subject in the workplace, especially now, and that managers obviously know their place. They know they're there to protect an agency, like I mentioned before, and as employees, we need to know, we need to remember to protect ourselves and our accountability, our image, and our beliefs, and that obviously there needs to be public transparency when working for a public agency, but there also needs to be a sense of accountability on managers, employees, and the agency as well. So it was great seeing you guys or at least um, presenting one last time and I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their summer and their session goodbye